And while the Apollo 11 mission is one that we remember the most about all of these uh, space missions all these years later, there were several Apollo missions that happened before 1969. In fact, a Grand Rapids native actually played a big role in the efforts to get to the moon. We, walked we talked with the former curator of the Roger B. Chafee Planetarium about the impact. That's one small step for man, one it will be 50 years ago tomorrow, Americans first heard those now famous words as astronauts on the Apollo 11 became the first men to step foot on the moon. We watched the launch with a number of friends and colleagues all excited. For Dave DeBryan, he was working at the Grand Rapids Planetarium and watched it all play out from the space shuttle's launch to those eventual first steps. It occurred a bit later than was planned. And so it was a late night, but it was just an incredibly gratifying experience. But just two and a half years before, a disaster halted NASA's mission to the moon. Of course, it was a great shock to all of us who were space nuts to hear about the disaster that took his life. On January 27, 1967, Grand Rapids native Roger Chaffee, along with Gus Grissom and Edward White, were running final checks on the Apollo 1 command module when a fire broke out in the cockpit. The men weren't able to get out and died in the disaster. The Apollo program was set back by well over a year because of that disaster. That delay resulted in a complete redesign of the Apollo capsule, including safety improvements to the hatching system NASA used to get the astronauts in and out of the capsule. When the Apollos ultimately flew in uh, 1968, they were much safer vehicles. A big step towards that first step so many years ago. Now, David tells us that almost immediately after the Apollo 1 disaster, the director of the public museum at the time had the idea to name the planetarium after Roger Chaffee. It has officially had that name since May of 1967. Yeah, uh, such a tragedy mm -hmm. uh, and such a loss here personally for West Michigan. They also stopped feeding uh, those uh, capsules with pure oxygen after that accident as well. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow there's going to be a moon landing celebration at the Veen Observatory in Lowell. Members of the Grand Rapids Public Museum and the Grand Rapids Amateur Astronomical Association are welcome to attend. Starts tomorrow at 6. It'll include an appearance from NASA historian Glenn Swanson.